Hi all, I wanted to make a quick day end market summary for 6th of September 2024. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All content over here is for the sake of education. Kindly read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and in the description below. With that said, let's proceed. So what a day we had today. Fantastic. Uh, quickly, let's go through the 5 minutes chart and after that we'll go through on our 4 hour charts that we generally do. Alright, so 5 minutes chart, we shall use this today and uh, members to the channel will immediately recognize the kind of indicators that we are using uh, these indicators were explained to members and on the left hand side we see nifty 50 futures and on the right hand side we see bank nifty futures both are on the five minutes time frame i have mentioned the importance of this yellow line and you all know what this purple line is doing and this indicator has been mentioned at the bottom rivaling the EMA defense cost that we are currently using simply a fantastic indicator now you can see from the day beginning itself it was below the yellow line and and uh, below the this moving average that means it just could not recover for most of the day it gave an attempt over here and again failed in nifty bank nifty also it attempted over here uh, to recover but could not because global markets were not recovering there was slight recovery coming uh, and then it was again going back so beautiful day for the bears today eventually after a very long time bears got to play and uh, on mid cap and fin nifty futures also this is how it looked again no respite drop uh, and then try to recover but then could not and again drops for all indices the story is pretty much the same pretty good I'm sure our members would have made good money today. People who have been following my channel also would have made good money today. So all in all, a very good day for day trading, especially for the bears. All right. And let's go to our four hour charts right now. This is our nifty 50 four hour charts. The last two bars are the bars you see from today. Each bar is four hours. So you see it's come and exactly sat on the uh, support over here. It's exactly sitting on this support. Yeah, I'll zoom it for you. You will realize that's why I say this advanced Fibonacci retracement is very, very important. You see, it's come and exactly it's sitting on the support line. I mean, on the surface, things look like why does this guy keep drawing all these lines and talk about these specific, uh, you know, uh, numbers on screen and gives specific uh, resistance and support zone because they are all relevant, guys. This has come after a lot of practice and learning that these numbers do matter. There is a, there is some mathematics involved when it comes to charting. All right. But anyways, so Nifty 50 is sitting on the very line on the support line. The support line is at 24857 and uh, Nifty has closed at 24852. So it's five points below the support line which is okay you can say it's almost on the support line now if it goes down further on monday then the next support is at 24 5 78 which is this yellow line over here all right so it's a straight about 300 point fall that it could take it can do that probably in two breaks if it wants so maybe 150 fall one day and then 150 fall another day or it can do the whole thing in one day not a big deal like today we have had a 300 point fall that can repeat on monday as well depends on how the global futures are doing currently as i'm making this video things are in the red and uh, but i'm sure later in the day that us futures will also try and recover let's see i mean let's not speculate our job as traders is very simple we need movement as long as this movement does not matter whether it's going up or down we will make some money all right so currently support it's sitting on the support of 24857 if it breaks that it'll head to 24578 which is this yellow line and if it breaks that it'll head to 24292 which is this yellow line over here uh, on the way up it's got good resistance at 25144 which is this red line over here and if it breaks that and sustains on top of that for a couple of days then it'll head towards 25469 which is this yellow line over here all right so all in all uh, we had also mentioned that there is a wedge forming if uh, people remember I had mentioned that there is a rising wedge in both nifty and bank nifty it was looking something like this the last time I had drawn it and I have told you that last six to eight months this rising wedge has been fooling us 
what it does is instead of straight away falling it gives a slight rise and then falls all right that's exactly what has happened it tried to go up over here and then it fell but these wedges they generally fall so it's as simple as that so this was a rising wedge in nifty which eventually has shown a dip all right next go to bank nifty again in bank nifty i had clearly drawn and told that the rising wedge over here is even more prominent than nifty it's a little more defined and it should fall you see the fall now this is a rising wedge pattern and see the fall correct and it's managed to close just above the resistance of 50,556 it's closed at 50,627 so about uh, how many points 40 over here about 50 60 points uh, it's above the support line so the next if the support breaks at 50556 then it will head towards this purple line over here which is the 50,000 mark now if it breaks the 50,000 mark then become things become a little difficult psychology shifts and it can go into a further correction all right so this is the rising wedge pattern guys google it also and read a lot about it as much as you can there's not much to know about it apart from the fact that when there's a rising wedge market falls and when there's a what's the opposite of rising wedge whatever there is a opposite of rising wedge also when that happens the market goes up all right falling wedge i think that is called I'm not too sure yeah it's called a falling wedge anyways guys so this is bank nifty last two bars are from today good amount of correction i think the total span of correction even though it has closed spot has closed 896 points below and futures has closed 959 points lower but somewhere during the day i think both showed about thousand points lower i think so i'm not too sure but even if it didn't then how does it matter it was very close to thousand points futures definitely i saw below thousand points it had gone above thousand points in terms of red spot i'm not too sure as you guys know most of the time i'm tracking futures all right so anyway guys good eventful day over here as well how many days uh, so let's just calculate one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 10 days of up move it has swallowed in one day how cool is that so 10 days of up move it has closed in one day great simply great the levels that you see on the screen are still valid guys i have mentioned the lower levels on top if it wants to go up then it needs to cross 51 144 which is the white line over here and if it crosses that then it will head towards this 51992 which is this yellow line over here all right so that's as far as bank nifty goes let's go to fin nifty fin nifty looks like this again over here rising wedge is visible and it has taken its course this is the rising wedge very clear cut and the fall has happened how cool is that right so again the charts are very similar to bank nifty the next support for it and which is supposedly a strong support will come in at 23400 which is this red line over here currently we are sitting at 23548 so we are approximately 150 points above the strong support if the support if it goes below 150 points and breaks this support then the next support will come in at 23000 and after that a very strong support will come in at 22 triple six this 22 triple six on fin nifty is very important it is also the june third high it is also a place where nifty uh, fin nifty has come very close and bounced back up again all right it has crossed it here two times it has crossed but now this time again if it comes and keeps banging then things may head lower so again we'll need to be a little more vigilant and um, it's definitely not a time to go long it's a time to pause and watch the markets and see how things are doing all right but we as day traders we just want some amount of volatility as long as the india wix is above 15 it is good for us when it goes below 14 and all that then it becomes really tragic for option buyers in any case the upper limits are also visible on your screen if it breaks this resistance of 23686 it'll head to 23992 and then towards 24300 which is the yellow line over here with that let's close for nifty and go to mid cap nifty mid cap nifty has been the strongest index so far again a rising wedge is visible over here as well let's draw it it's a little bit 
not as it's not as well defined as it is in the bank nifty and bin nifty but it is there nevertheless but this will be the rising wedge in uh, in mid cap mid cap historically has been the strongest index how many points did it fall today mid cap has fallen uh one and a half percent 1.59 percent on the spot chart and 1.8 percent on the futures chart it uh yeah this and bank nifty has seen the maximum amount of fall all right today so again guys uh, the support is now at 12960 which is a red line over here now this was acting like a resistance earlier it will now act like a support if it breaches that then it will head towards 12 763 which is the yellow line over here and then towards this 12585 which is this yellow line over here on the way up it will now face resistance at 13171 yellow line over here and then a very strong resistance at 13386 th all now new highs and lifetime highs will only come after 13386 is crossed all right for now mid cap has taken a breather and it's probably swallowed the last four or five days of up move in one one day okay let's go to our four hour charts on uh, trading view where we use a different set of indicators so in the on the adaptive trend finder the uh, trend is still upwards with on the nifty as you can see the um, the range has now expanded uh, yesterday and day first trade was in a very tight range the range has now expanded the tunnel has gone wider which is a good thing let's see how things progress if it starts dropping down for another three four days then this tunnel will start facing downwards and then the trend will change all right bank nifty again it's gone outside the tunnel but even now the adaptive trend finder is still saying that the trend is still upwards one or two days more and it will change Bin nifty has gone into a tight range now and it's gone outside the adaptive trend finder tunnel let's see how things play out in the coming week mid cap nifty the tunnel is still wide the range is still wide and it's still not gone into a bearish stance adaptive trend finder is still telling that the trend is still upwards let's see when this mid cap trend changes all right mid cap will be one of the longest trends it starts over here somewhere april 24 and now we are in september may june july august september close to five six months this four hour chart uptrend has been solidly standing so pretty good all right so that's about it for today guys i'm sure everybody would have enjoyed uh this friday and everybody will be heading into the weekend on a, on a good note most of you would have made money and for people who also lost money don't get disheartened uh, winning and losing is all part of the game if you have lost money that means you need to do a little more homework or you need to do or you, you know a little more experience is required but uh, winning and losing is all part of life so should not be very disheartened when you lose and should not be extremely happy when you win all right so on that note i'll end this video thank you so much for watching um if you are not already subscribed to the channel then please subscribe to the channel please give this video a thumbs up like the video it motivates us to make more videos for you consider becoming a uh, member of our channel by clicking on the join button it is a very small amount you need to pay every month uh, it's hardly anything the, probably the cost of five trades um, not five trades actually two and a half trades is the cost and we charge that monthly on a monthly basis so it's peanuts basically but we release members exclusive content now and then so becoming a member is good because we are trying to build a community over here if you are not only subscribed to our telegram channel then there's a free telegram channel also uh subscribe to that the link is given in the description in all our videos i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching have a good weekend take care bye bye